Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about the basics of switches. What the heck they are and when would you ever want to use one. So say that some company called you and they said okay we have a bunch of devices right here all of these laptops and we want to get them all online connected to the internet. Now during their phone call with the boss or whatever he's like alright you know what I also only want to use ethernet cables I don't want to use wireless at all because I was reading some article online and I read that wireless is a not as fast and B it isn't secure as Ethernet so we're gonna hook all of these up through Ethernet and no wireless at all so we're like okay you know what we can do that we can do that the first thing we decide to do is we don't need a wireless router so we just buy this one without any wireless capabilities so we hook up our modem and we start hooking up all their devices. Boom, you're hooked up. Boom, you're hooked up. Boom, you're hooked up. And okay, you're hooked up too. But now we're looking down at our router and we're scratching our head because on the back of our router, we only have four ports, four different places where we can plug an ethernet cable into. So we have a bunch of other devices that we need to get online. What the heck are we gonna do to solve this problem? Well, check it out. Dun, dun, dun. This right here is a switch. Let me change my color. Now all this device does, this switch, is it gives us more ports and let me show you how this works. So this router, it has four different ports, four plugs in the back that you can plug an ethernet cable into. So for the first three, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hook these up directly to the laptops. One two, three, these bad boys are online. Now that fourth port, instead of taking it and hooking up to another device, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and hook up the ethernet cable to the first port in the switch. And then what we're gonna do is we have all of these extra ports that can now be used for additional devices. So we can take another ethernet cable, boom, boom, and boom so check it out so again that is what a switch is and let me pull up a switch and show you guys what it looks like in real life alright so this is just the first one I found it's the number one bestseller the most popular one on Amazon and again this is what it looks like in real life and of course this right here is a five port switch one of these has to be devoted to the router the other four can be used to hook up additional devices you can also choose to get a switch with more ports but those are more expensive depending on your need choose however many ports you want and also you're probably gonna see the words unmanaged and managed as well whenever you're looking at switches whenever you see the word unmanaged this means that you can pretty much just take it right out of the box plug it in and it's gonna work whenever you buy a managed switch this just gives you some more settings it allows you to monitor the network um, maybe alert you when something goes wrong it can tell you which parts of the network are used more than others so if you just need something really simple to connect more devices then just buy an unmanaged switch but if you want a little bit more control over your device then buy a managed switch and yeah there you go that's the basics of what a switch is I'll see you next video